Hello, hello, this is your girl, Megan. Welcome back to my channel if you're already a subscriber. And if this is your first time joining me on today. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> So be sure to hit that subscribe button because you know you want to. So today I wanted to do a birth chart reading on Mr. Trey Songs, aka Trigger Trey, aka my childhood crush. I've loved this man since I was what? What? Well, he came out in like 05, 06, so like high school. And I noticed that he's been in the headlines lately due to some allegations about him messing with an adult worker. I think she was like a, a porn star or something like that. She worked in the sex industry. And basically, the T is, so he's dating Steve Harvey's stepdaughter. I don't really remember the girl's name. That's neither here nor there, because her name ain't Megan, <laughs> you know. And basically, Trey was alleged to have cheated on her with said porn star and the porn star came out and basically was just showing you know messages and different receipts that she had to prove that Trey was messing with her and yada yada and I didn't even take to the story because it was that scandalous because it's not let's face it it's entertainment industry far stranger things have happened and men paying for sex or men cheating and men being attracted to women who work in the sex industry. It's just, it's not this uncommon type of situation. But it did spark a larger question at hand just because based off of Trey's reputation as being this, you know, this bad boy, this sex symbol of R&B. And then I've also heard allegations of his sexuality coming into question. Just for years now, it's kind of been like an ongoing rumor that Trey Songs is gay or Trey Songs is bisexual. So just thinking about, you know, what kind of skeletons, per se, does Trey have in his closet? Like, you know, it just kind of made me want to look into his birth chart just to see what's all going on with him in general. Because what is it about this man? Like, women cannot stay away. I mean, myself included. You know, I don't know if Trey is into astrology, but baby, if you are, Tremaine Zoiling, just go ahead, slide into my email. I can get you anything that you need. We can set up a consultation. I will be glad to let you glaze my donuts, butter these biscuits, you know what I'm saying? Frost these cinnamon. Y'all, y'all get it. Y'all get it. Okay, let's let's get on with the reading. So Zaddy, I mean, Trey was born Tremaine Alden Neverson on November twenty eighth, nineteen eighty four. See, he even has my same birthday because you care, you care, you care, you care. It's meant to be. So um, yeah, he was born in Peterson, Virginia, and this makes him a Sagittarius son with his moon in the 18th degree of Aquarius. Now, that number 18, I say, always deals with um, upheavals. It comes with crises. This could even indicate public scandal, especially surrounding his sexuality, as 18 carries a very, very strong sexual energy. This deals with um, dealing, like, sexual interactions with the peers, perhaps secrets, um, keeping secrets around sexuality. Hmm. Mm, interesting. Um, his moon is squaring his Saturn in the sign of Scorpio, which points towards depression. Um, I'm pretty sure Trey suffers. And I don't think he's ever spoken publicly about it, but I believe he does suffer from some form of um, mental depression. Not receiving love or affection from the mother. That could be a possibility also, maybe growing up. I, know, I noticed that um, he was raised by his mother and his stepfather, and I think his stepfather was in the military. So this could definitely be a byproduct of coming from a very strict type of background that required one to grow up rather quickly, okay? Or just a very emotionally distant type of background. His Mercury is in the 28th degree of Sagittarius, and 
that 28th degree, like I said, is very close to the 29th degree, which is the crisis degree, AKA the anoretic degree. And it typically comes with a whole bunch of just like drama, lots of scandal, secrets. Uh, it could be related to taboo, a lot of taboo shit going on. Um, it just really depends on what's going on, you know, with the number, what sign it's attached to. In this case, his Mercury is conjoined to his son in Sagittarius, and this could point towards um, like issues in regards to peers, siblings, cousins, family members, um, and in, indecisiveness. I noticed that that um, 28th degree of Mercury can make somebody very, very indecisive and freedom seeking. That 29th degree, well, because 28 is so close to 29, it it can still produce third party situations. So this basically points towards Trey being a playboy, really, because you have that Sagittarius energy, which Sagittarius naturally is freedom-loving, freedom-seeking. And I always say Sagittarius men are worse than Sagittarius women. Because as a Sagittarius myself, I'm going to be real. Like, we some thoughts. We're, we some thoughts, okay? But socially, society has programmed women to kind of, you know, aspire to into relationships and kind of settle down. So even your Sagittarius women, if attached or if they find the right guy are more than willing to settle down, more so than Sagittarius men, who are just like, when you take into consideration societal programming and then just their basic hard wiring need for just variety, oh, these niggas is off the chain. You got Offset, a la The Game, you know, it's. It, it goes on and on, so it's a lot of um, a lot of what rambunct rambunctiousness, should I say, that comes along with that, and it makes one a thought. Like just, it makes one a thought. And when you add that indecisiveness of um, that Mercury, very close to that critical degree in third party situations, you I can tell right off that Trey Songs is a man who he's pretty much throughout his life he's gonna suffer not really suffer, but struggle with the whole relationship thing. Um, before Lori Harvey, I don't remember him going public with that many relationships, but it's also kind of been a very common known fact that, you know, he gets around. People say, oh, don't leave your girl around Trey. You know, he has this alias as, what is it? Take, Trey, take your girl, Mr. Steal Your Girl, or whatever. So, you know, this aspect definitely I mean, it supports that. So, yeah, he, he's about that life. Um, and his son, um, conjoined to Mercury, is squaring Neptune, or excuse me, it's also conjoined to his Neptune. So his Neptune is in Sagittarius as well. But these three planets are squaring his Juno. And, you know, your asteroid Juno deals with your relationships. And this could point towards him being a liar, um, being deceptive, even like lying to the public about his relationships or things not really being as they appear to be, or even him deceiving partners. This can make for somebody who is very charismatic and has an ability to kind of alter the way people perceive things. So making him the ultimate smooth operator, you know, oh girl, it ain't even like that. You know, she said this, nah, nah, nah. That's not really what happened, baby. I love you, girl. So this can definitely make him, a, you know, that type of guy that every girl has fallen for at least once in your life, at least once. Um, this could also create an over, I don't know, like a sense of overconfidence, if that's a thing, like somebody who's very overly confident in their ability to deal with women. And this could lead you to make mistakes, slip ups, scandal, getting caught up, which I found to be interesting because this whole situation with the porn star coming forward and she's just saying, you know, things are, oh, the timeline is overlapping. He was supposed to have been with Lori, or I think that's her name, Lori Harvey, but supposedly he was still messing with other girls. So, I mean, I even though people do lie, right, because we don't know who this porn star girl is, it, based off of his chart and, and this aspect in particular, I wouldn't put it past him. Like, he's definitely a playboy. So he probably has, you know, dibbled and dabbled with several women and being in a relationship probably is not going to change much for him. Let's see. 
This could also deal with a faltering um, sense of commitment. And this is reinforced with his Juno in the sign of Libra, that Libra is gets a reputation from being um, indecisive, right? Very indecisive. So it compounds on that indecisiveness that comes along with his afflicted Mercury. His Sun, Mercury, and Neptune are making a sextile to his Pluto in the third degree of Scorpio. So this makes him, you know, incredibly popular in this lifetime, but also an amazing writer with a niche for breaking down the psychology of sex and women. Some of his best songs are about sex, you know, Jupiter Love and Neighbors Know My Name. And one of his most famous songs, You Would Think I Invented Sex, you know, he probably did with this aspect. But overall, this just creates somebody who knows exactly how to deal with women, which possibly it could give way to manipulation as well. So it kind of reinforces those other aspects that deal with him being, you know, just a ladies man, suave. Um, and it's also making a quincunx to his north node, which is in Taurus. He's a Scorpio south node. So, I mean, we'll get to that later, but this could definitely point towards him having a bad habit of using people, using women, seducing people to get what he wants, um, being oversexed, using his charm to manipulate situations, all that, you know? And I find this to be particularly interesting because I remember maybe last year or so, Kiki Palmer, the actress, came out and she accused Trey of what was, how did she phrase it? She, I think she said using sexual intimidation to get her to do something, to be in his video when she didn't really want to be in a video or something. And everybody kind of laughed her out the room. And I'm not saying that Trey, you know, is a rapist or he raped her or anything. Like I said, she was very particular in how she described it. She didn't accuse him of like putting his hands on her or molesting her or anything of that nature. But it's to say that I do feel like he probably was in a situation to where he is so used to seducing and charming other women to where he probably tried to turn that machismo on with Kiki and she just wasn't having it and it went left. So, I, I mean, looking back in retrospect and looking at some of these aspects in his chart, I tend to side with Kiki on that. I'm pretty sure Trey has definitely overtly, you know, used some of his image and his um, capabilities to his advantage, put it that way. His Venus is in the sign of Capricorn, the 17th degree of Capricorn to be exact, which gives him a double dose of that Capricornian energy. And on the good side, it makes him very hardworking and disciplined, but also very concerned with his reputation, which is why I feel like he goes about his situations very privately. Because like I said, you know, outside of a, a handful of people that the paparazzi might find him walking with or, you know, that people in the media might link him to, he doesn't really come out front and he's not really that forthcoming with his sexuality outside of his music, of course. But, you know, he tends to kind of keep a low profile. That's why all of these allegations and rumors, you know, they're just that, rumors. But... Um, his Venus is conjoined to his Jupiter. Now this was this is a jackpot kind of aspect for me because this it puts the nail in this Playboy coffin because it definitely reinforces the theme of somebody who is very self-indulgent, uh, greedy when it comes to women, somebody who cannot get enough like of that pleasure-seeking behavior, men who I mean really just have an, an obsession for women and an insatiable desire for you know the pleasure of the senses. These people may go to extremes in order to explore their options. There's this need for freedom. These people often grew up never being hard pressed for a female. So I bet Trey probably even before the music, even before the fame was the type of guy who grew up, you know, and, and was able to get girls. And, you know, and when you take that and you add money and fame and popularity, it just amplifies this, okay? So he's not used to being told no. Um, and too much, it's just too much trade to, to just restrict the one person. That's how he feels, okay? He feels like it's enough him to go around. This aspect also points towards somebody who is best suited 
for an unconventional style relationship. Although he may not come right out with it, because like I said, that Capricorn energy produces somebody who is very concerned about their reputation. So Trey is the type of guy who would probably be a swinger or have these, you know, alternative style arrangements in his relationship, but put on the front to the public, which reinforces some of that Neptune energy that I just spoke about when it comes to him, like, you know, deceiving the public or manipulating things to make them seem one way when there's something else and doing that in regards to his relationship. His Jupiter is at the 14th degree, which breaks down to the number five. So that reinforces this need for freedom, right? Because fives can be unstable, chaotic, self-indulgent, irresponsible, and even careless. And they tend to make very careless decisions when it comes to like their sexuality. You know, they put themselves in a lot of risky predicaments, so to speak. They have a lot of um, unhealthy sexual tendencies and even a predisposition towards drug abuse. Now his Venus is making a sextile to his Saturn, which indicates or it just reinforces him maybe taking a more conventional approach or him kind of teetering back and forth. So Trey could possibly go through phases and I'm thinking maybe his relationship with homegirl probably is, is one of those phases where he feels like, okay, well, let me try this normal life and see how it works for me. But then there are times in his life where he's like, fuck that. I need more. I want more. I want more girls. I want more sex. Like, you know, and it's just like this teetering effect to where he can go from one extreme to the other. And, and whatever extreme he lands on, it's only but so long before he changes his mind. And sexually, Trey could be into everything from domination, what is it called, sadism, sad whatever, like biting, punishment, choking, anal, butt play, anything, you name it, especially with this um, Scorpio influence. His Saturn is in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio rules the anus, so he could be into anything, which isn't really ruling out these um, gay rumors here, but, and there's more to support that. Now his Mars is conjoined to his moon in Aquarius with his Mars being in the ninth degree. Actually both uh, break down to that number nine. So his moon is in the 18th degree, which is a faded degree, but you can break it down to nine if you wanna be technical. And then his Mars is in the ninth degree of Aquarius. And that nine carries a lot of sexual energy. So it reinforces this whole theme of him being like this super free. And Aquarius is the sign of perversions as well as homosexuality. Once again, not really doing a lot to debunk the whole theme of him being <laughs> by curious or liking men. Now, um, his moon and Mars are conjoined, or excuse me, they form a sextile to his black moon Lilith, which is in the sign of Aries. And this points towards Trey having very kinky sexual desires, being downright nasty, experimenting in the bedroom, very trisexual type of energy. And this actually points towards Trey, if not being bisexual um, or trisexual, just downright bi, like attracted to masculine energy. That's that energy that comes with Aries, his black moon Lilith being in Aries. And your black moon Lilith is almost like Mars in the sense that it encompasses a lot of animalistic, very, you know, passion driven, lower nature driven energy, but it's like on steroids. So it's a part, it's a part of your psyche that exists that kind of engages in the lower behavior, lower nature, lower vibrational behavior of whatever sign that it sits in. So that's the best way I can put it. And as I said, another person with this um, same Black Moon Lilith aspect is um, R. Kelly. Okay, I, I did a reading on R. Kelly not too long ago. His Black Moon Lilith is in Aries. And I'm, of course, I'm not saying that Trey Songs, like, you know, has a harem of women or that he is a pedophile. I'm not saying any of that because, of course, there are other things to take into consideration. But it does drive home the point of him being a freak. That's all I'm saying. He's a freak in, not only is he a freak, I think that he does not really discriminate when it comes to the sexes. So 
male, female, come one, come all, you can get that pipe, okay? Uh, also, his uh, Mars is sextile to his Uranus. And this is the signature astrology trademark of a sex symbol, okay? These people tend to carry a level of sexual electricity that can't be contained. So like I was saying in my, you know, earlier on, like what is it about this man? I mean, you know, this aspect creates somebody who tends to draw people in, you know, they wear their sexuality on the outside. Um, yeah, they draw in others like a moth to a flame. They're constantly seeking new experiences. And this once again reinforces bisexuality as his Mars is in trying to his uh, Chiron, and his Chiron is in the sign of Gemini. Ooh, <laughs> and Gemini carries a reputation of being um, bisexual, very, you know, wishy-washy because it can go one way or the other. Gemini is represented by duality, and it's typically non-discriminatory when it comes to the sexes. So once again, pointing towards Trey, dibbling and dabbling in each pond, so to speak. Um, and this could also point towards Trey's detached and kind of, um, you know, like a, a tendency to um, be very non-committed to situations and people because that Gemini energy has to be stimulated at all times. You know what I'm saying? Um, or else it could get bored. And as a result, these people can be serial daters. So there's that. Um, also... Looking at my notes, um, this could also be somebody, like I said, who smashes people with no feelings attached, and it reinforces this theme of him having very quirky sexual interests. I would not be surprised if Trey was actually a power bottom, okay? Got to getting that bussy pounded, <laughs> you know? So, and with his moon, your moon could also signify like your reputation, things of that nature. I would not be surprised if there were, you know, especially at this faded degree of 18, I wouldn't be surprised if there were scandals that actually came to light about this later on, like about him liking men. You heard it here first, okay? When it happens, just come back to this comment section and say, Megan, you were right. And I'll say, oh, I know, I love you, okay? His Uranus is in the 13th degree of Sag, so it's conjoined to his son which makes him very intelligent, you know. Um, it creates, sun, Uranus aspects create people who kind of march to the beat of their own drum anyway. And it kind of reinforces the, the theme, you know, the very um, experimental kind of sexuality theme, just because they, they tend to be very um, outside of the lines of acceptability, so to speak, when it comes to their choices. These people can be very charming, life of the party even, unconventional. And his uh, son and Uranus also are making a sextile to his asteroid Juno, which once again reinforces this theme of bisexuality. Damn, Trey. So, I mean, at this point, like, I mean, of course I got to say allegedly because, you know, if this channel gets bigger, I don't want a lawsuit, but... I mean, it's safe to say that Trey is, Trey is, he's part of the LGBTQ community. Like, seriously. Okay. He can, he, he can still hit this, honey. <laughs> I, it's okay. I, I can take prep. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, his, uh, woo. Um, his son is also square to his Mars. And this, once again, could reinforce the theme of bisexuality as it creates somebody who is very tapped into sexual taboos, um, somebody who's very tapped into concealing their sexuality, burying secrets, somebody who's obsessed with sex, or even have like certain sexual compulsions. And, and that reinforces that whole, um, the energy dealing with his Black Moon Lilith, because Black Moon Lilith in Aries does deal with being very impulsive, like you have sexual tendencies and sexual urges that you can't control. You know what I'm saying? So whenever Trey gets that itch, he just gonna have he has to get it scratched. Uh, his North Node, as I stated, is in the 26th degree of Taurus, which makes him a Scorpio South Node. And like I said before, this could bring about a lot of 
manipulating um, or manipulative type of tactics. This is somebody who has mastered the art of obtaining like value, power, resources, and sex. You know, he could look at himself as like kind of like buying into the hype, buying into his own hype that a lot of his worth is surrounded from sex and he probably knows this so he uses it to his advantage um and with his taurus being in north node he has a karmic duty to be honest and be straightforward with people and you know get the things that he wants out of life based off of hard work and um, you know, just valuing others and working with others instead of resorting to power plays and manipulation tactics. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but his Juno is in um, the second degree of Libra, which deals with him being very much a playboy, indecisive, you know, teetering, tottering back and forth between different women. And they could also make him very, very, very charming. And with his um, Chiron being enshrined to his Juno, this reinforces, once again, bisexuality as well as an inability to settle down. Libra energy also does. Um, Libras tend to, uh, and men, <laughs> tend to um, kind of go both ways as well. It just depends on, you know, the rest of the chart, but definitely in Trey's situation especially with his Chiron and Gemini. So yeah, an inability to settle down, um, risky sexual experiences. Uh, his uh, Chiron is also making a quincunx to his Pluto, his Pluto and Scorpio. And this points towards uh, Trey having compulsions to, you know, explore taboo things and him pretty much just being really, really engulfed in sex and things of that nature. His son is in opposition to his Chiron, which produces his sexuality being pretty much out of sync with his public reputation. Well then, okay, well, that concludes my reading for Mr. Trey Songs. And you guys drop down in the comment section below. Like, how does this, how does this make you feel? Like, he absolutely lives up to his sex symbol kind of persona. <laughs> so, as always, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with a friend, and of course, be sure to practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And as always, until next time, I holla.